see, not only are you messing with the DNA, but you're messing with the embryo cells. The danger of cloning. The bad things that happen with cloning. See, you need DNA and embryo cells. They've been messing with the DNA for a long time. Cloning. When you look at it from a biblical standpoint. See, one thing I did listen at when I was in health class, I learned a lot. Shout out to Coach Briscoe. I listened. And health was always very interesting to me out of all things in this school. And I paid close attention. And when you keep removing DNA, the embryo rejects a lot of times the new DNA. Say like you're trying to clone somebody. It dies a lot of times. It's rejecting what you clone and try to make this new this new DNA. See, the most high is the creator. Hallelujah. Man been try trying to play God for a long time. They messed with too much stuff. When they cloned Dolly the Sheep, what was that back in maybe 1986, 85? When they cloned Dolly the Sheep, and you saw how long that sheep actually lived. People ask me all the time, I just got this question on live chat. Do I believe a clone can go to heaven? How? You must be born again. A clone ain't born again. You have to ask yourself, do a clone even have a soul? Or if it did have a soul, what kind of soul would it have? You have to be born again, baptized in the Holy Spirit. How can that happen with a clone? You done made something else out of somebody else. See, all this stuff ties in together. All this artificial intelligence, the robots, the cloning. The most ties not pleased with what's going on. And that's why you're going to continue to see this. Because technology is going to continue to increase, increase, increase. When you go back to Genesis 1, 26, 27... He said, let us make man in our own image, in our, our likeness. That's the Holy Spirit doing that. See, since the devil can't create, he have to imitate. He's a copycat. They've been, they've been coming, up, coming up with things to try to make you have a longer lifespan. While I'm thinking about that, um, prayers to my, my sister Diana on my street. Mama finally passed away, y'all. Mama was 111 years old. She just passed away yesterday. I heard the news. My prayers for the family. Love y'all. My mama lived her life. 111. And when you killing so many embryos mm, just for your purpose, you killing more and more embryos to obtain that DNA. See, life starts at conception. A lot of people say, no, I don't believe that. This is why you don't even supposed to have these abortions. And then, embryos are also good at used in a good way um, when somebody else can't get, just say another woman can't get pregnant. And here goes somebody want to donate. I, I remember studying this years ago, I think it, it costs anywhere from $10,000 to $15,000. This woman can't get pregnant, but hey, keep that embryo. So with all this cloning going on, realize what's being actually thrown away. Mm. How do we say, why do we say life begins at conception? Like, well, that's easy. It's it's, it's um it's all in the it's all in the word. Go back to David. We just talked about this scripture, Psalms. What is that? 139 Psalms, verses 6, 13 through 16. He said, you knew me. He talks about even Isaiah knowing me, even Jeremiah knowing me before I was even in my mother's womb. So 
when you kill an off, that's going against his will. That's why a lot of people say abortion is murder. No, JT don't call it murder. We don't want to call it murder. Why? We don't have the right to take away life. We don't have we don't have the right to try to extend life like they doing a lot of these scientists and whoever that's in these labs messing with all this stuff. But you got to be born again, not cloned. And on that note, I leave. Y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.